Come on, Burnley, another three points. What is this side? Lettuce or lattice? I think there are a lot of lettuces. Wigan were rubbish, but Burnley just showed them how to play football. That's eight goals we scored against this team. Eight. 5-1 the first time and 3-0 this time. Right, this is Saturday the 11th of March 2023. Burnley versus Wigan. Burnley 3, Wigan 0. Burnley's formation 4-2-3-1 and Wigan with a very defensive um, formation 3-4-1-2. The last match was on the 27th of August 2022, Wigan 1, Burnley 5 and the goal scorers on that day was Rodriguez, Brownhill, Teller and Bastion and Brownhill got two goals in that game and your referee for today's game was Jay Busby. Right, this is Let's Talk Burnley Football Club number 83. And your team news. Murick, Roberts, Bayer, Ekdal, Mattison, Goodmanson, Cullen, Teller, Vintinio, Zaori, and Barnes. And your substitute for today was Farrell, Cork, Foster, Bastion, Al Dachil, Diverse Hog and Obi Femi. Right, Bur uh, Berlin were absolutely off the mark. First 14 minutes, goal, Nathan Teller, header, assisted by Zayori. 28th minute, uh, Omar Rechik got a red card, Wigan down to 10 men, that's in the 28th minute. Okay. 1-0 going into the break and your stats for Burnley for the half time was 79% possession, 11 shots, 3 on target, 4 corners, 8 fouls. And shortly after the break, Bayer assisted a goal for Teller, 47th minute with a header. That's 2 now for Teller. And then we start with the substitutes later on. Um, Foster on for Barnes and Cork replaces Goodmanson. That's in the 62nd minute. Um, and then also substitute Obafemi replaces Vintini on the 74th minute. And the goal again, yes, 3 0, 76 minute, assisted by Obafemi. Um, that was uh, Foster. Foster's goal, fantastic. And then we have a yellow card uh, for Rob uh, Connor Roberts. Uh, then we have uh, no, more substitutes for Burnley. Cullen goes off and Bastion comes on in the 85th minute. And Diversalog replaces Zayori. That was the end of the game. 3-0 for Burnley. And the stats for the complete game. 79% possession, 27 shots. 7 on target, 10 corners, 11 fouls. Fantastic uh, day today for Burnley. They really played well. And they didn't have a problem with the 10 men in defence or 11 men in defence. They, uh, they got round them eventually. <laughs> but uh, now the lead tables. Burnley's played 36 games, 123, drawn 11 lost two and the goal difference is 43 the points 80 80 points Sheffield United who lost at home to Luton 1-0 today uh, played 36 120 drawn seven lost nine goal difference 24 points 67 now Middlesbrough who won against Swansea 3-1 they're in third position played 36 119, draw 6, ele uh, lost 11, goal difference 23, points 63. Uh, good news as well, Blackburn Rovers uh, got beat, <laughs> which is good news, they're in fourth position. But um, yeah, Sheffield United crumbling, 
Um, that this is the second time they've been beaten. Uh, so looks like Middlesbrough are going to be overtaking Sheffield United at some point. Right, your next match, um, Wednesday the 15th of March against Hull City away. And then on the Saturday the 18th of March, uh, Burnley are away in the FA Cup quarter-final at Manchester City. And then we have the international break. And we come back on the 31st of March, home to Sunderland. Right, well, today... Um, Brilliant team effort by every player in the Burnley side. Uh, some fouls, um, both sides had fouls, but um, hopefully nobody is injured for the next game, which comes from Wednesday. And I most likely will be doing another one uh, after Wednesday, because it'll be the evening kickoff uh, on Thursday morning. Okay, well, that's it for now. All the very best and up the clarets. Come on, lads. Keep it going. I think we've only got a possibly four wins now until we've got the title of champions of the championship and certainty to go up next year or next season to the Premier League. All the very best and up the clarets. Come on.